back for another edition of Over the Line. I'm Kurt Larson. He's John Mattis. Matt Day, where are you? Called in sick today. We're not buying it. Yeah, there's a lot of rumors going around. We're not sure what to believe. Rumors and speculation in the newsroom. Also some speculation going on at the uh, the Davis Cup where Andy Murray calls out his teammate Dom Inglot for having a girlfriend on the go after a Davis Cup match. Problem is, Dom apparently has a girlfriend. Yeah, Dom's got, got a little girlfriend on the go here in Glasgow. Um, so, uh, yeah, he's maybe celebrating with her this evening. You might actually be lying to me in this. Because yeah. I actually have a girlfriend who's going to be watching this. So. Hold on that bombshell. Murray just backed the bus right up over Dom. And, uh, you know, he has a girlfriend at home who is probably not pleased with that comment. No. Um, and he, you know, he goes to Twitter after and says, hey guys, you know, it was a joke, don't worry about it. But I don't know if I'm buying it because Murray, the way he delivered it and the way they exchanged in the interview, it did not seem like a joke. Yeah, because Andy Murray kind of hunches over, laughs. That's not a fake laugh if you yeah. ask me. We're not buying it, Dom. Next up, we've talked about diving on this show. I'm kind of for it, a proponent, a soccer fan. I understand the nuance surrounding it. Anything to win is what I say. Apparently, Jesper Fast of the New York Rangers agrees with me. Yeah, I don't, I don't really agree with this kind of behavior. Casey Sadiq is just kind of taps him a little, you know, it might, it might move you a little bit, but he does, you know, he does basically a flip, fast, just tumbles. And it was, uh, it was some, some, you know, questionable movement there where uh, I'd say it was definitely a dive and I would say Don Cherry will probably take him to task. Stop doing that stuff! It was like he slipped on a banana peel for a second. Full marks, full marks for me, Jesper. Next up on a much more serious note, Tanner Rahir, a Cincinnati Reds prospect. Uh, accused of throwing a large stone at his girlfriend's head and knocking her unconscious. Yeah, according to police, it started in a, a pizza parlor. And, uh, you know, there was an argument between Rahir and the bartender. And, uh, all, you know, once that was figured out, they ended up outside, according to police, him and his girlfriend. And that's when uh, the stoning happened. And, uh, well, allegedly. And the details are murky, but uh, either way, a very uh, strange situation. Yeah, and he says that he didn't even know her and it wasn't his girlfriend. So, uh, a lot of details to unfold, but uh, some pretty serious allegations. Finally today, I love this story, I covered this story. Josie Altador scores the game-winning goal out in Vancouver for Toronto FC last weekend uh, and runs over to celebrate in front of fans and he is greeted by Kirsty, a super fan, who uh, flipped him something. <laughs> Yeah, let me reenact a bit, so it's a bit like yeah, that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's great because, you know, you got two teams that dislike each other. You got the fan, you got the player coming together for one photo, and afterwards you talk to both, and it was all in good spirits, and, and just kind of heat of the moment stuff that doesn't really resonate outside the stadium. Yeah, the Whitecaps fan, Kirsty told me that, you know, she's actually an Altidore fan, got a hold of Altidore, uh, who said that he's just glad it happened because it gave him a great photo. Uh, so uh, all in good fun, and that's why Kirsty, the Vancouver Whitecaps fan, is our fan of the week here on Over the Line. That's it. We'll see if Matt Day gets over his chills. Best wishes to him on his recovery. Anything? Uh, I'm guessing he probably won't make it next week. He'll probably you know, ride out the sickness a little longer. Until then, uh, you can watch Over the Line at Sunsites Across Canada and Canoe.ca. We'll see you next time.